Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus and today I have something kind of a little DIY techie project that's kind of goofy um, but it's fun and it's cheap. So uh, as regular viewers know I'm not a terribly big fan of Wi-Fi. I don't usually have Wi-Fi on in the house. I've got an Ethernet network everywhere. Um, I don't have wireless keyboards. I don't have wireless mice and uh, the reason for that is kind of simple. I just don't really see the point in radiating myself with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, microwave radio signals all the time if I don't have to. Um, I also happen to live, fortunately, in a place where the cell phone network, my, my cell network reception, is actually pretty bad. So yeah, I don't, uh, don't have Wi-Fi and, well actually I do have Wi-Fi because I have this guy which I use from time to time. And the reason for that is sometimes you have like, um, I have a Kindle or like a tablet or something, and sometimes you can use a little USB to ethernet dongle and you can use a wired internet connection, but sometimes not. So I do have this little TP-Link Wi-Fi router and I basically got him like under my desk, tucked away on a shelf. Uh, I also logged into the web interface on this guy and I set the transmit power for the Wi-Fi as low as possible. So it has very limited range, it's very low transmit power, so when I do turn it on for 5-10 minutes, it's not going to be, you know, radiating me like crazy, right? So I turn it on, I, you know, let my Kindle download the books I purchased or something, and then I'm supposed to turn it off. Right. Well, the problem is that what actually happens is I reach down and I press the power button, and I download my book or whatever, and then I, you know, go off and read the book, and I forget that the Wi-Fi box is on. And usually it's like two or three days later, I find out that this guy is still sitting there transmitting away. Obviously, that is not an ideal solution. So I thought, okay, well, how do I make some sort of indicator, because I've got it stashed uh, underneath my desk, kind of off to the side, how do I make some kind of indicator to show me, oops, you bozo, you forgot to turn the Wi-Fi off? Uh, now, this, this is actually used, it's connected via Ethernet to my wired Ethernet network for the Internet connection, and it's basically only used for Wi-Fi, so I've configured it as a Wi-Fi access point. So if it's on, I got Wi-Fi. If it's off, everything works fine. I'm not actually using it as a router. Okay, so what exactly to do here? Um, this is a... What are we? What are we here? We're a, a TP-Link Archer C2. Uh, it's a very nice, nice little box. Uh, you can see that's probably upside down, and you can see here in the back we have our traditional Ethernet, the WAN ports, the the LAN ports, and USB. Now the first thing I thought was, well, maybe what I can do is just plug something into the Ethernet. Uh, the problem with that is what I want is some kind of indicator light, right? And Ethernet doesn't have, unless you do power over Ethernet, ah, just that gets like really complicated and hairy, right? So the second thing I thought of was it's got a, a DC power input, which it turns out is uh, 12 volts. So I thought, well, you know, I could, I could uh, put a little plug in here, you know, have a little plug in between these two so that when I... Uh, press the power switch or something and then I realized no wait that doesn't work because power goes in and yeah you know that's not gonna work so then I then I started fretting and I thought well, what the heck am I gonna do and then I realized like most routers these days we've got a USB port and then it hit me so what I did is I bought some of these little guys now these are these are pretty cool because all it is, is a little, got an LED on that side and an LED on that side, and it's a USB plug. So what did I do with my power bank rock here? So you plug it in, if I could get it in the right way, well, that's an awfully snug fit. Hang on, Woo! so there you go just a one watt one watt LED it's 500 500 uh, milliwatt LED on one on each side uses one watts for USB 2.0 which this guy is 
the max it's five volts DC and the maximum current is 500 milliamps so you've got two and a half watts and this guy's only going to use one watt so we're great right except if I plug this into the back of here well that's not really going to do me much good let me do a little demo here of plug into my power strip so okay when when it's on when the Wi-Fi router is on the light comes on when I turn it off it goes off that's perfect right the only thing I need is a USB extension cable Ta-da! so I can stick this guy in here plug this guy in the back here Okay, we're almost there, except that's not very pretty as it is, right? I mean, sure, okay, yeah, you know. That's where the pack of ping pong balls comes in. Now, I used a yellow one, but you can use any color you'd like. I think for this one, we're gonna use orange. It's a good, good warning color. So all you're gonna do, if I could get the dang thing out, You have a lovely orange ping pong ball here. And all we're gonna do is cut a hole so we can stick that dude inside. So let me do that real quick. Da -da 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 -da. Got my giant pocket knife. Um, these are actually very easy to cut, but let's see if I can not uh, chop my fingers because that would be unfortunate. Use the scissors instead. Of course you can do this with uh, with a box cutter or something, but then you're pretty much guaranteed to uh, chop a finger off or something because they're they're kind of soft. So there you go. We make a kind of an ugly hole, and then we stuff this dude inside. And if you make the hole small enough, you can kind of get it wedged in there real good. And there you go. Now you've got your Wi-Fi box, right? And then you've got your 1.8 meter USB cable and your indicator. And when you turn your Wi-Fi box on, ta-da, you have a lovely green, green, orange <laughs> indicator light. So yeah, there you go. That's it. Um, I have to s mention that uh, all of this, all the, all the parts for this, the, the ball, the cable, and these, these cute little LED lights uh, was about $5.00. And you also, because if you need a longer cable, this is like 1.8 meters. If you need a longer cable, usually the maximum length for USB is um, for low speed USB 2, you can go up to like 5 meters. For the higher speed USB 3, they typically say like 3 meters. But actually, you can probably even string multiple 5 meter USB cables together because you don't need USB 3, USB 2 will do, because all you're doing is taking the 5 volts and ground, the 5 volt DC power. To power the LED so the cable limitation length for USB is mostly for the signal integrity if you're actually transferring data but here we're just powering it so um, yeah you can string multiple USB cables together you can have your Wi-Fi box over here and then now I've got my little indicator I got my little my Wi-Fi box sitting underneath my desk I got this guy sitting on top in a convenient location and now I never forget to turn it off yeah so like I say, it's a um, little bit goofy, but it's extremely easy to do, and um, yeah, it looks kind of cool. So, right, Bob's your uncle. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.